this video i am going to be showing you how to do speech recognition in python so let's jump right into it so we will be using two python modules so the first one is the speech recognition module and the second one is the pytt s extreme module so as per they are not built in python libraries we have to install them so open up the cmd or the terminal to install them but i'm going to open up the integrated terminal of visual studio code okay once the cmd or the terminal has been executed you have to type in pip install speech recognition so for mac and linux users you have to type in sudo pip3 install speech recognition and you also have to notice that s and r are capitalized so now i'm gonna hit enter to install this module so as you can see the requirement is already satisfied so now i'm gonna install the pytk s extreme module so i'm gonna type in pip install pytk s extreme so as you can see the requirement is already satisfied so now i'm gonna close the terminal and import the speech recognition module so i'm gonna type in import speech recognition as and now I'm gonna import the pytt s extreme module. So I'm gonna type in import pytt s extreme. So I spelled that wrong. pytt s extreme. So these are the modules which you have to import and install for this project. And next I'm gonna create a variable. So the variable will be r equals to sr dot recognizer and type in the brackets. And now I'm gonna hit enter and type in with sr dot microphone type in brackets as source as the source i'm gonna type in colon and hit enter so as you can see we got a level of indentation over here and now we have to give the user clue that he have to speak now so for that i'm gonna use a print statement so i'm gonna type in print type in brackets and in the brackets i'm gonna type in speak here so it's gonna indicate the user that he have to speak now and next i'm gonna type in audio equals to r dot listen so it's gonna listen to the source so in the brackets i'm gonna pass in source and now we have to add in the try and accept statement so i'm gonna type in try type in colon and hit enter so as you can see we again got the indentation right here and now i'm gonna type in text equals to r dot recognize so we have many engines but i'm gonna use the google engine so this is the engine that we use in our android phones right so now in the brackets i'm gonna pass in audio so it's gonna recognize our audio and next i'm gonna hit enter and type in print so i'm gonna use the f strings so now i'm gonna type in user so we have to use the curly braces and in the curly braces i'm gonna type in text so for example if i said hello world then it's gonna print you said hello world so now i'm gonna use the accept statement so i'm gonna type in accept type in colon and hit enter so as you can see we again got the indentation so now i'm gonna type in print not recognized so if the google engine did not recognize their voice or it didn't hear us correctly then it's just gonna print not recognized so we don't get an error and instead of that we just get not recognized so now we are done with the programming so let's run this code hello world so as you can see we got you said hello world so now let's run this again hi how are you so as you can see we got you said hi how are you so i'm gonna close the terminal so that was pretty easy right if yes click on that like button smash subscribe and also click on the bell icon to get all my notifications first whenever i post a video okay so that's all for this video thanks for watching and peace